geographical isolation of Tibet had kept its culture and its transmission of Buddhist Dharma decidedly pure for millennia. From the time Buddhism was first brought over the Himalayas in the 8th century by the great patriarch Padma Sambhava, the teachings have been passed down in unbroken lineages through the great monasteries of Tibet. The result is a rich and intricate culture, colorful in its ancient traditions, dedicated to the preservation of Buddhist Dharma and unique upon the earth. In 1959, after the invasion and occupation of Tibet, His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, escaped over the Himalayas to seek refuge in India, thus beginning the process of exile for hundreds of thousands of Tibetans, including its lamas and geshes, as well as its most sacred texts. Monasteries would be re-established. In essence, it was the exodus of an entire culture. As the Tibetans arrived in India, refugee communities were established in the inhospitable jungle. Sanitary conditions and the education of the children became immediate priorities. In addition to the overwhelming physical challenges of adapting to the sudden changes of climate, diet, and government, elder Tibetans feared the loss of their culture. To address this very problem, the Gaden Sartse Monastery was re-established in 1969 in Mungad in order to keep Tibetan education, culture, and pure Buddhist teachings alive. With the blessings of His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, the monks of the Gaden Chartse Monastery tour the United States in an effort to save their culture by sharing it. In the process, enriching communities they visit, and at the same time raising funds for the refugee community. In sharing their culture, the tour, comprised of monks, lamas, and geshes, is responding to the words of His Holiness, which state that Tibetan culture and identity are nearing extinction. The tour of monks sent out by the Gaden Sartse Monastery has been visiting the United States since 1992. The monks, along with learned and venerable geshes and lamas, are selected according to their individual talents, which may best serve the tour. Well trained and properly prepared, they set out for America on a mission of cultural exchange and fundraising to provide for the needs of the refugee community. The monks are adored wherever they go. Within the drama and spectacle of their performances, a reverence evoked by the antiquity of the ritual and the sincerity of its execution seems to touch the audience like the gentle wash of a benevolent wave. When a sand mandala is requested, it is always a special event. Mandala literally means that which extracts the essence. The monks create two-dimensional mandalas requiring incredible amounts of concentration. At times, the execution of the design even pivots on the placement of a single grain of sand. The sacred dances of Tibet are not simply a performance. They are an ancient spiritual ritual created to transform negativities and obstacles into positive and harmonious conditions. Essentially, consciousness enters as a demon, is transformed, and exits as a deity. Secret and sacred, these dances are not intended for the general public. Yet on tour, the monks are able to perform short excerpts, giving the audience an experience of their transformative power. Multiphonic chanting is a rare and unique experience, created when the monks sing a chord containing two or three tones simultaneously. The exotic sound created is a sacred offering for the benefit of all. Good evening, first, and thank you very much for coming here tonight. The monks of the Garden Sartse Monastery are famous for their expertise in Buddhist philosophy. When requested, teachings are given by a lama and a monk, which include a brief description of the Gelug school of Tibetan Buddhism, followed by a question and answer period. In addition to Buddhist teachings, the monks are also excited to give more general talks on subjects such as monastery life, Tibetan culture, and world peace. 
Empowerments and healings are meant to establish a special connection between the participant and the particular Buddha's deity. Receiving an empowerment is like the planting of a seed. Properly cultivated with the right conditions, this seed will sprout and help the participant grow into the enlightened state of Buddhahood. Audiences around the country have been entertained, informed, and touched by the colorful spectacle of Tibetan culture and the subtle poignancy of its philosophy and teachings. Perhaps above all is the intangible feeling of being in the presence of monks who are at the same time so personable and so selfless. All of the performances include a question and answer period. This gives the audience a chance to engage the monks and learn more about Tibetan culture. The programs are tailor-made to suit the requests of the particular community or venue. The result is a dynamic quality to the tour as the monks prepare differently for each performance. The vision of the tour is not simply to perform, but also to interact and engage with the communities which the monks encounter. The tour seeks to be accessible to all so that we might join together in creating understanding within our world community and to be a blessing to all sentient beings.